Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be a part of Bellator 241 coming on Friday night, March the 13th from the Mohegan Sun. It is Nate Andrews. Nate, uh, appreciate the time as, as always, man. Uh, I know it's been a, a couple months since we last saw you uh, in competition. Uh, you know, first off, how, how would you describe 2019 for yourself? Uh, I feel like it was a, a good year for me. You know, it was a um, step up in competition. Um, I got to fight some tough guys. Um, you know, I came up short uh, a couple of times to Chris Wade, um, but um, I had a big win over um, Rashid uh, Magomedov. So it was uh, it was an overall good year for me. Uh, obviously, uh, you know that, that Chris Wade fight. You know, um, you know, I don't know if, if frustrating is is the right term to use. I mean, is it one of those things of it's just like you know what, what's done is done. I just got to move on. Yeah, it's one of those things, like, you know, at the time, was it frustrating? And um, right after the fight, um, it was very frustrating because, you know, you, you're thinking a guy's going to come out there to do to fight. You know, he's going to come out. And, you know, if he's going to go for the takedown, he's going to do something on the ground. He's not just going to hold on for dear life, you know what I mean, and just ride out the clock. So, um, so that was frustrating. But, you know, um, now I had to go back to the drawing board and, and plan if, if guys are going to try to ride out the clock, you know, we gotta, I gotta be better at, um, you know, getting back up and not like try to wait for them to, um, you know, make a scramble, go for something to get that scramble. Did you make, I mean, talking about, you know, some of those changes you made, did you, did you make alterations to, to how you prepare for a fight? Um, no, I just added in more, more like, um, in my training, just a lot, like, you know, uh, more defense on the cage, more defense, um, you know, getting back up um, when you're near the cage. So things, um, you know, things I just realized, you know, I needed to get better at. And now you got Achilles Motos here. Uh, of course, he, you know, he came into Bellator, uh, you know, at the end of last year, got got a big win uh, over Mando Nello. Uh, his only loss is against Austin Hubbard, as we're talking, actually fights. Uh, tomorrow night on on the UFC show, what's kind of your what's is there something when when you and the team you know start preparing for this fight that really stuck out to you about him? Uh, he's a tough fighter, uh, overall well rounded guy. Um, you know he's a uh, he's a he's aggressive. He comes forward, but I, I did notice he does seem to get um, he seems to get tired more the longer the fight goes on. So um, I. Uh, uh, I I think it's a, a great fight. Uh, it's a, a tough fight, um, but I, I see me coming out with my hand raised. How how is his style different than you know you know say you know from Chris Wade and Rashid Magomedov? Oh, he goes after it. He goes for it. Um, he comes out and throws bombs. He comes forward. Um, he looks for the finish. Um, Chris Wade, you know, he was uh, aggressive, but he didn't really want to fight. He just wanted to, you know, hold on and, and try to go for just takedowns and hold on. And um, uh, Rashid, uh, he he played more, try to try to counter, try to counter a uh, a lot more with me. Um, this guy likes to just come forward and like he, you know, he throws and and he goes for it. So it, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be an exciting fight. I, I know that New England scene's kind of a very close knit community. H- had you had any run ins, you know, with Moda with the fact that he trains out out of Glover's gym? Uh no, I, I haven't at all. Um you know, um I, I do train with uh, you know, a lot of guys uh throughout New England, but none of uh no no one up uh no one up that way. I know in talking to, to various, uh, you know, fighters up there, they, they talk about just the amount of miles they put on their car uh, every day going gym to gym. I mean, how, how many hours would you say you spend in your car in, in a week just going from one one training place to another? Uh, I, I'm lucky. Um, you know, I, I train mostly right here in Rhode Island at Triforce MMA. Um, so I do mostly all my training here. And then on Saturdays, I uh, I travel up to Lausanne, so I'm only really traveling probably about it's about 45 minutes to an hour to get up to Lausanne from uh, from where I am. So uh, luckily, I'm not doing a whole a lot of traveling because um, mostly all my training is right here in Rhode Island. 
I've heard about Saturdays at, at Joe's Gym. I mean, I mean, we're, it seems like basically if you're if you're anyone in the Northeast, that's where you got to be on Saturdays. Yeah, it's loaded in there. It, it's it's stacked. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a full house on there on Saturdays. Great sparring, great grappling. Um, you get pretty pretty much you get pretty much the who's who um of uh, New England MMA. Um, especially from like the, you know, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, mostly, um, you, you get them over there. In terms of, uh, you know, for you in 2020, any goals you have set for yourself or is right now the, the only goal is about, uh, you know, getting the win here at, at the spell tour show. Yeah, that, that's the only goal right now. Uh, I, I like to go one fight at a time. Um, I, uh, you know, I'm coming off of a, a, a loss. So, uh, my goal is to get back on a winning streak and uh, get this big, uh, big win at uh, Bellator. You know, is is the is kind of the future kind of open for you in terms of you know, um, you know, obviously we saw you in the PFL last year. Obviously we've seen you in CS now here in Bellator. Is it kind of you know, pretty much once this fight's over, you and, and Tyson kind of sit down and, and kind of you know figure out kind of what is the next move. Um. Yeah, we're you know we're 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 hoping that uh, um, you know after that a big win here, that uh, the next move is, is to um, you know uh, keep fighting for Bellator and um, you know um, you know maybe get a, a multi fight deal you know with a big with a big win, but uh, like I said, first things first is just just taking care of business um, first and winning this fight. Nate, as always, man, uh, appreciate your time. Good luck here at Bellator 241. Of course, let everyone know where they can follow you out on social media and anybody else you want to shout out. Uh, yeah, I'd like to shout out uh, all my uh, all my sponsors, um, Jetaway, um, DNH Collision, Levels, Northeast Security, um, Ventador um, Auto Solutions, and um, hopefully I'm not forgetting anybody. Um and uh, Triforce MMA, Lozon's MMA, um, ECA Wellness. And uh, you can find me at uh, um, the Snake uh, 155 on Instagram.